so we decided to have a best day ever. What makes a best day ever, you ask? Uh, well, when 50 children going through childhood cancer, along with their siblings and parents, are all recognized, and they're recognized daily. That's right. We had something for everyone. Whether it was the sibling, whether it was a mom or a dad, I'd like you to take a look at the screen to see what our 2023 best day ever looked like. Lainey was two, she was diagnosed with spinal cord tumor. She's had three surgeries, two failed chemo regimens, and then followed up with proton radiation. Rocco was two years old. He was sick for a while. We weren't sure what was going on. And after a couple of months, we took him to the emergency room and they diagnosed him with neuroblastoma. It was a pediatric cancer. My daughter and my son, actually, Lainey and Shay, have a, a progressive muscle disorder. Both of them are losing their muscle um, ability uh, as they grow and get older. Um, their muscles are becoming weaker. My daughter's first name is Piper, and she is six years old. Currently, my daughter is on her third relapse with uh, neuroblastoma. One day, they just called me when she was in school. They said, oh, you're going to come and pick up? I was hearing her screaming on top of her lungs. She said, my back hurt. And they took us up to the third floor. I didn't know first what was the third floor. But when I saw people, because I do home care, so I do work with people like that. So I knew it was something, but I didn't know what was it. He was born with a rare genetic disorder that affects his midline, so his, from his brain down to his motor function, his gross motor function. My wife is a warrior, going back and forth with the hospitals. Um, we went from CHOP to DuPont to St. Christopher's. So Paula Abdul and I were trying to come up with a way that we could allow families to interact with each other, that moms would get to know other moms that are going through similar situations and the same thing for dads. We also wanted to find a way that siblings of children with cancer could feel like they weren't left out, because unfortunately that happens all the time. And then ultimately, we wanted to find a way that kids with cancer could just have the best day ever. Since we started Zuhu, we have opened up our home to lots of families, but today was different. In about 10 minutes, 12 o'clock noon, those gates are gonna open, and about 50 kids affected by cancer, along with their parents, are gonna be greeted by water slides, moon bounces, pool, dunk tanks, stilt walkers, balloon makers, the hot air balloon, volleyball, and crafts inside. And for the dads, we have blackjack and casino games. And so much more. I can't wait. Here we go. Let's rock. Martino gave me a call one day looking for a balloon, and I volunteered. About 17 years ago, I was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's non lymphoma. Had a full had a full bone marrow transplant, so as much as I can come out and and, and, and help people in need. We're currently fighting cancer. I'm a, I'm all for it, obviously. Being here today was all about them and seeing their big smiles. That's all that matters. Yep. children as young as 12 months old and as old, believe it or not, as 39 years old. And the 39 year old had Down syndrome. He just was a ball of life. Then we had the twins. <laughs> what do you guys want to do first? Did you go on the jumpy gym? Yeah. 
They're adorable, can't tell them apart. One of them had cancer. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, tonight because she's cancer free. Just seeing them jump out of the car and see the horses or the cow, and then they probably never seen something like that before. So that was just amazing to watch the joy in their faces. is open whenever you'd like. Come see the animals whenever you'd like. We're here for you and we love you. And remember, if you don't know how to give, you don't know how to live. It took an army to make this happen. There were 90 volunteers here today, allowing them to have a day of fun at Zuhu. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Four and five or five and four? Five and four. Well, the people who are passing through a process of cancer, or to help them, to find the necessary information, and to have much patience and to have much faith. Every day of bringing this children to come have a special day where they feel just loved and special. I thank God that there's people like this and people in this community that can come together and do something amazing. Just it just warms my heart. Oh, uh, I think it's awesome that they have all this stuff set up for them. What was your favorite animal? The ducks. You like the ducks? <laughs> At the end of the day, it's about the kids just being happy, healthy, and that's all that matters. It like surpassed my expectations 100%. She can't do a lot of activities and she gets excluded from a lot of things because usually her counts are really low. This helps kids battling cancer feel special. Y también le quiero dar gracias a la fundación que nos invitó a este evento tan maravilloso. Para mí fue un día maravilloso que me lo alegraron y agradezco a Martino que creo que es el fundador de acá. Rocco now is two years cancer free. Being able to have a normal day like today and have so much fun together is really what it's all about. And then when she got here, she seen everything. She said, oh, mommy, I think I'm going to enjoy myself. She was so happy and she was so excited. My name is Jasmine and I'm 10 years old. I was eight when I was diagnosed with cancer. And today I'm cancer free. God is good. Amen. God is good. January, we got amazing news that her cancer is gone, but we've had a lot of hard work to get where we're at. The best day ever, right? I met about five children that had neuroblastoma, and one of the kids I became really close with named Logan had glioblastoma. And I'll never forget the words of Mindy Grossman. When we lost Logan and I was in Florida, I called her because I needed someone that could listen as I was crying. And uh, Mindy said, stop. Your job is to make them smile while they can. And I never forgot those words. And today, I must say, mission accomplished.
you see all these sponsors? Keep it going. Keep Do you it see going. all these volunteers that are about to come up? Woo! It takes a village. Look at all those volunteers. Woo! Thank you. 13 years later, still no paid employees. Unbelievable. This is my 10th year with you, yes, co-sharing this with you, and it is such an honor and privilege to be part of something that is so much bigger. Than we ever thought it would be. Yeah, it's incredible. I'm so happy to be here. You know what? Watching this, isn't it beautiful to see how many people came together to support families that are going through childhood cancer? It's pretty awesome. Speaking of the best day ever, you're about to be part of the best night ever. It's going down. Right after a word from our sponsors. <laughs> like, feel like American Idol after the break. <laughs> you got your eyes on me. Give me baby what I need. I'm loving all the joy you bring to me. See all the girls with their lipstick on. For me, luxury is convenience, comfort, with my drink at the ready, a fun night out with my friends by my side, in my city, at my place, where they know how Philly likes to play, to win. Just give me my jeans and a machine that sings to me. That's music to my ears. Martino, congratulations. Year 13 for Wigs and Wishes. What an amazing organization you, Gianna, and your team have put together. You've helped so many people with cancer. Deep Pasquale Salon Systems, Carmen, myself, and the Cow Organization are so happy to be a part of it. Congratulations again, much success, and continue to fight the battle to help these people get rid of cancer.